Today I'm going to show you one mistake that can ruin a stained concrete project and then I'm going to show you what we did to fix it. Hey, my name is Tim with Decorative Concrete of Virginia. I make a lot of videos about concrete and epoxy. If that sort of thing is interesting to you, hit the subscribe button down below. I went on a quote a few weeks ago for a house that sits on top of a mountain. They already had a stained concrete floor in the basement, but it had all of these dark lines that ran across the entire floor that came from improper curing of the concrete. What happened is that the builder probably covered the floor right after it was poured, and where he overlapped his paper, it caused dark lines to be cured in the concrete. The problem with this project is that they live on the side of a mountain, so there's no way to get a big grinder into the basement so that we can remove all of the sealer and then do our typical troweled concrete overlay. So the plan now is to grind the concrete with our small grinder to remove as much sealer as we can. And fortunately, it removed almost all of it. Then we're gonna use our specialty primer that will help the overlay to bond to whatever is left on the floor. The brown color you're seeing in the floor is what's left of the acid stain after we ground it. It's not topical, which means that it's actually in the concrete, so we're going to go right over it. Once the primer dries, we're ready to mix our trial concrete overlay material. We're going to install two coats of this trial concrete overlay. The first coat doesn't matter as much as the second one. We're just trying to cover the floor and keep it pretty smooth. After the first coat dries, we're going to go ahead and apply a second coat. You're going to see a lot of these trial marks in the finished product, so you have to make sure that you apply this in a way that you don't see any repeating patterns in the way that you trial the floor. This is probably the most efficient way to get the material on the floor, but it leaves these long sweeping trial marks. You just have to remember to go back over the floor with short strokes to take out all of those long trial marks. We let that overlay cure overnight and we're almost ready to apply stain. We could sand the floor here to make it smoother, but I don't like to lose that trial texture. So all we do is take razor blades and we scrape any drips or high spots and we're ready to move on. Before we apply our stain, I decided to take an angle grinder and recut all of the cut lines that were already in the concrete floor. We use an air scrubber to create negative pressure in the basement so that we pull the fumes out of the house to keep them from getting upstairs. And now we're applying our acetone-based concrete stain. This is kind of an unusual project because the whole point of this is to make the basement look just like it did when we started. We're going to go ahead and mix our epoxy up outside while we're waiting on the stain to dry. We apply our epoxy primer with a 3 8 inch nap roller. We just cut it in on the edges with a brush and then roll it on the middle of the floor. Our epoxy primer is very forgiving for roller marks, so we're really just trying to get the floor covered without leaving any puddles. We're going to let that cure overnight and we'll be back tomorrow to apply our urethane top coat. Applying the urethane is a little trickier than applying our epoxy primer. The first thing you have to do is just to get the product on the floor, and then once it's on the floor, you take a roller and you push it forward and lift it up while you're moving. And the reason we do this is because it eliminates roller marks where you start and stop your roller. I make these videos as a very basic overview of the type of things that we do. If you have any questions at all about anything that you see, definitely leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, it helps me out a lot if you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.